so today we're going to try something a little bit different i got myself a donkey rig two quarter ounce jigs and you know four inch swim baits all right so for today we're going to show you real quick how we tie our donkey rig with jigs first i'm just going to start with a quarter ounce jig and just tie it on to the end of this 20 pound test you don't need anything crazy this is you know walmart brand i think it's like two bucks for 250 yards which you can't beat um once i tie on that one jig i'm going to measure it out by eye like about 12 inches once i got about 12 inches i'm going to take the line put a little loop right there just a double overhand knot Just like that, perfect. Now, um, I have the jig here, the loop here. With the other end of the line, I'm going to cut it just short. So, I got my jig right here. If I were to cut it right where my hand is, it would be equal. I know some guys fish it like even. What I like to do is just shorten the one end. I think it'll have a better presentation and I find that I get my line less tangled. Um, I'm going to take another half ounce jig, just tie it to this end. And the big thing I'm, I'm learning with these is the amount of action that they give off sometimes is irresistible for a fish. So here's the complete rig. I got the loop right here. I'm going to pull it to the left where you really can't see. I got one jig about 12 inches down, one jig about, I don't know, eight inches down. And the whole key, once I'm out on the water, is I'm just going to be dropping it down, jigging it, and they're pretty much just going to keep crossing each other and moving erratically. Now, the reason that we're moving to two quarter ounce jigs is where I'm going to be fishing has a little bit of current, and I think the fish should be closer to the bottom. Um, if I were to fish this with just two plain hooks, uh, I don't think the baits would get down to that strike zone, but there's no, you know, perfect weight to use. It's, you know, varies from spot to spot. If I were fishing an area with a lot more current and a deeper area, I'd probably be doing two half ounce jigs or possibly two, three quarter ounce jigs, but we're going to start light today. If, if it doesn't work, we'll, uh, make an adjustment. ahead of me a little bit now today we're using quarter ounce jigs reason being there's not a ton of current where I'm fishing so I didn't want to bulk up if you're in an area with half your current and you know half ounce of weight is not enough to get you down where you need to be you could always do double halves double three quarters to try and you know build up that weight but for where we are double quarter seems to be the ticket and to be honest with you you don't want to be fighting the weight of the jigs it kind of takes away from fishing all right that's some fish right there Let's see if i can't get them to bite though Oh, there we go. Oh, my line's wrapped on my tip. Oh, there we go. It came off. I knew we'd get in the bite. Oh, man. Now, my only fear with this donkey, jig, or donkey rig is the possibility of hooking into two stripers, which I don't know if this rig's built to survive two stripers fighting you know, a 20 pound test, but I, th I think we got one nice one, maybe. Nope, we got two. Damn, son. That's exactly what I was kind of fearing was going to happen when they get schooled up. It's two, two stripers with diapers. Look at that. 
Oh, come on. There we go. I promise I'm gonna let you both go. Holy smokes. I had a weird feeling that was gonna happen because now how are we gonna do this let's leave the net in the water that way put the least amount of strain on these fish Trying to, actually you know what we'll do it quick Whew. ain't that a way to start a day I mean if I if I put them both together I'd probably have 28 inches worth of striper. Probably like, I don't know, two little rats, probably like, whoop, trying to throw them back straight in. I don't know, probably 20 inch fish. All right, all right. Now that was my fear coming into today, was will the rig hold up if you hook two fish at once, which was not expecting that the first drop. I was hoping that was gonna be one nice one, but um so far so good i feel like if you hook into two bruisers ain't no way that 20 pound test is gonna hold up even with loose drag all right there's that lump of fish again right beneath us i mean that was pretty instantaneous got all the way down jigged it like once or maybe even twice i mean look at that i didn't even, didn't even get to jig it that time awesome. I think we only got one this time. That's good. Well, maybe not. Uh, that's the other thing. Sometimes when you get those stripers, that'll follow up another striper. You know what I'm talking about? When that's that's the only other issue I would see with this rig. You know what I mean? Uh, that's not a bad one. Ooh. Man, cold hands today. Wow. Tried to lip them, but my hands are so freaking cold. Early spring, man. You get the wind out the wrong direction. It could be a pretty cold day. I'm sorry. There he goes. Man, just as I stopped the camera, this guy smoked it. Holy smokes. That ain't a bad one. They're all about cookie cutter size. to see those marks again shouldn't take long other than getting down to where you need to be seems like they're feeding directly off the bottom so I'm just gonna keep it pretty close to the bottom Ooh, that felt like a hit oh there we go there we go Man. That guy swam straight up with it. I'll tell you what, these pre-spawn fish, you know, they haven't this they haven't made that run yet up to spawn. You know, water temp's still too pretty cold or it's pretty cold. They are just active as can be though. I mean look at this guy. He don't want to give up. And I'm learning the lesson of like not trying to reach in the water until they're done because I feel like most of the time I'm extending the fight. Now this guy looked like he might be a false hook. That's why I felt so much bigger. Yeah, he was just looking at it. Poor guy. Sorry, bud. Alright, he'll survive. Oops, there he goes. 
I'm going to try a little bit short of where I was marking this fish. I want to try the shallower end of this spot. See if there's any fish on that little lump. Oh, yep, there's fish there. Oh, son. Man, that one absolutely thumped it. That's a pretty one. Easy buddy, easy. Man, that guy just wild that one. Little guy, but spunky. Get her back down. Tell you what, even when weather is not as ideal as you want it to be it is still fun being out here just waiting for spring to roll in man early spring could be real tough especially if you don't have the right gear luckily well like clothing wise i'm always actually sweating most of the time see usually your appendages i feel like that oh there we go that feel it the worst. Ooh. Become a drop and jig type of day which is always fun. They are a lot, a lot of the same looking bass, which is cool, man. I, I, I don't mind. I know guys, you know, bash me for not trophy hunting, but I prefer to catch, you know, fish, man. I, it don't matter how big they are. If you have the right tackle, something like that gives you a good enough fight compared to, you know, giant striper. Drop it right here. That last fish was a lot shallower than where I've been catching them. So it's always interesting to see how they move. I think they're just so spread out where I'm at right now just because they're getting ready to make that run, that spawning run. Just the basic jig seems to be doing the trick today. Nothing crazy. Just jigging it pretty tight to the bottom. I'm seeing fish suspended up though, I'll be honest with you. There's actually a decent amount of fish, you know, three, four feet off the bottom. Ooh, there was a hit and I missed it. Came back full though. Little guy. Woo. Man, even the little ones like this guy have a lot of fight in them. Oh man, this tiny guy. Well, even the small ones are ambitious. I need that back. Thank you. All right. Throw it ahead of us. Today, you know, I, like I said earlier, we're only using two quarter ounce jigs. So half an ounce of weight. Before you add in, you know, the lower weight. But 
Um, I'm fishing in an area that doesn't have a ton of current, so that's why I went with the lighter jigs. Um, you could definitely utilize this with, you know, have your jigs three quarter, half, whatever you might need to get you to the bottom or get you where you need to go. Uh, personally, though, I like the lighter jigs for this type of fishing. If I'm fishing this rig like in a super shallow area, what I'll end up doing is doing just two hooks rather than two jigs. Um, in fact, I do plan on fishing this later in the year when it warms up a little bit with just two Gamagatsu hooks and fishing it super shallow. Going in the wrong direction now. Boy, that guy. I thought that was a perch. Dropper again. Ooh. Get that little wind knot out of there. And all I'm trying to do is kind of position myself over top and just kind of dragging this through an area where I think these fish should be holding. And you just gotta experiment. The fish seem to be not on the bottom, maybe more suspended up. Then maybe you move to, you know, double hooks rather than double jigs. That way, you know, you're properly putting the bait in the right feeding zone. But the one thing I will say, if you're gonna fish just, you know, bare hooks, you gotta make sure that whatever lures you're using are presented correctly because uh, depending on the lure's buoyancy, how they're hooked will be a big reason if you hook into fish or if you're missing them. Uh, one thing I like to do if I'm fishing just bare hooks is I'll hook the, you know, the, the lure up and put it in the water somewhere shallow that I could see it, its presentation because presentation's everything. And if, you know, your lure's not sitting evenly in the water column, it doesn't look natural. Fish won't feed on it unless they're really hungry and desperate. This one feels a little bit nicer than the previous view. Could be two small ones or one halfway decent one. Man, I'll tell you what, that's just a spunky striper. That, that little fella had some fight in him. And he just freaking choked on it. Look at that. Luckily, it's in the roof of his mouth. And I'll be able to get that out.